believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land, in the land of the living. I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land, in the land of the living. So wait for the Lord and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord and be strong. I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land, in the land of the living. So wait. For the Lord, let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord and be strong. I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land, in the land of the living. Okay, one last time. I believe. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land, 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 in the land of the living. All right, the goodness of the Lord. We're experiencing it every day as we go through this pandemic times of enclosure when we are inside our homes times of panic when we have to go out to the shops all these times the Lord is protecting us from all things right so we see his goodness in the land of the living so take courage in the Lord all right this song is song number 410 there is joy in the Lord there is love in his spirit there is hope in the knowledge of him 410 there is joy in the Lord there is love in his spirit there is hope in the knowledge of him there's a fountain that flows like a river from heaven abounding in love to my soul all blessing and honor are his and glory and power are his let our wisdom and strength be the Lord's in this place. Let all glory be given to Him. There is joy in the Lord. There is love in His Spirit. There is hope in the knowledge of Him. There's a fountain that flows like a river from heaven abounding in love to my soul. All blessing and honor are here and all glory and power are here. Let all wisdom and strength be the Lord's in this place. Let all glory be given to Him. There is joy in the Lord. There is love in His Spirit. There is hope in the knowledge of Him. There's a fountain. There's a fountain I know Every time I am near it My heart overflows to the Lord 
There's a fountain I know Every time I am near it My heart overflows to the Lord My heart overflows to the Lord All right, so even though we are all inside our homes even though there are so many restrictions so there is so panic there's so much panic around us there is joy in our heart you know why because the spirit of god dwells in our hearts he gives us joy he gives us purpose and this is the reason why we are able to rejoice in him even in the middle of this pandemic right so this song is song number 401 talks about his hand of mercy upon us and the Lord is good to us. I cry out for your hand of mercy to heal me. I am weak I need your love to free me O Lord My rock My strength and weakness Come rescue me O Lord You are my hope Your promise To follow you forever For you are good For you are good For you are good to me For you are good For you are good For you are good to me I cry out for your hand of mercy to heal me I am weak I need your love to free me Oh Lord, my rock My strength and weakness Come rescue me My desire is to follow you forever For you are good, for you are good For you are good to me For you are good, for you are good For you are good to me For you are good for you are good, for you are good to me. For you are good, for you are good, for you are good to me. Right. Prarthikam. Kannu ala adasa namka. Uri nimishan deyutu prarthikam. Nyang lish nahi kena karthavi. ഈ വൈകുന്നേര സമയത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് കൂടുവാനും വചനം പഠിക്കുവാനും തിരഞ്ഞ സാവകാശത്തിനായിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ നന്ദി പറയുന്നു ഒരു കുടുംബമായിട്ട് കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങോട്ട് സന്നിധിയിലോട്ട് കടന്നു വരുമ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഹൃദയങ്ങളെ ഞങ്ങൾ കാണുന്നുവല്ലോ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ചിന്തകളെ ഞങ്ങൾ കാണുന്നുവല്ലോ കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഓരോരുത്തരുടെയും ജീവിതം ഞങ്ങളുടെ കണ്ണിൽ നിന്ന് മറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നില്ല ഞങ്ങൾ അറിയുന്നു കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഓരോരുത്തരോടും ഞങ്ങൾ സംസാരിക്കണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ വചനം കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കാലിന് ദീപവും ഞങ്ങളുടെ പാതയ്ക്ക് പ്രകാശവുമായിരിക്കാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ ഇടയാക്കണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു മുമ്പോട്ടുള്ള ഓരോ നിമിഷങ്ങളും കർത്താവ് അങ്ങയുടെ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വചനം പൊരുൾ തിരിച്ചിടണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു പഠിക്കുവാനും ഹൃദയത്തിൽ കർത്താവെ അത് അത് കരസ്ഥമാക്കുവാനും അത് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഉപകാരപ്പെടുവാനും അങ്ങ് ഇടയാക്കണമെ
കൂടി വന്നിരിക്കുന്ന ഓരോരുത്തർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു അവരുടെ കൂടെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ സാന്നിധ്യം ഉണ്ട് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് കർത്താവ് നാളെ ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ തുടങ്ങുന്ന ഓരോരുത്തരെയും ഞങ്ങളുടെ കയ്യിലേക്ക് ഏൽപ്പിക്കുന്നു പരീക്ഷകൾ നടക്കാനിരിക്കുന്ന ഓരോരുത്തരെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കയ്യിലേക്ക് ഏൽപ്പിക്കുന്നു ദൈവമേ അവരുടെ ഉത്തരവാദിത്തങ്ങൾ കർത്താവ് കറക്റ്റായിട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ അവർക്ക് വിവേകം നൽകണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു പഠിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും തക്ക സമയത്ത് ഓർമ്മ വരുവാൻ അവർ സഹായിക്കണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു എല്ലാ വഴികളും ഞങ്ങൾ നടത്തണമേ യേശുവിൻ്റെ നാമത്തിൽ തന്നെ അമേൻ all right so good evening and welcome to all of them whom i did not see at first so let me stop sharing this screen and then i can take my right so welcome it's a joy to be here on sunday evening sunday is we study the book of mark and we are in mark chapter 14 okay so keep your bibles open so a very small passage that we're going to study today mark chapter 14 right was 41 to 51 uh, yeah 41 to 52 okay mark chapter 14 was 41 to 52 right so right now we are actually going through the book of mark and we have reached this passage which highlights the last week of jesus and this is the last Uh, penultimate day of Jesus' life here on earth. We have reached the ministry of Jesus. Almost the end we have reached. And uh, it is just before the arrest and going to the cross. You know? So uh, Mark has devoted uh, so many chapters only to the last week of Jesus' life. Okay? Now why is it so important? There is something very important that God wants to communicate about the last week. days of jesus okay so these are important things these are issues that need to be highlighted in our everyday life it is as important as the rest of the gospel passages okay so adu ottum korachu kaanayittu nammal varilla it is given in such detail about how he was arrested how the trial went how the crucifixion happened and how the burial and the resurrection happened okay so much detail so that you and i would not have a doubt regarding his death and resurrection okay അന്വേഷിക്കുന്ന ആൾക്കാർക്ക് ഒട്ടും കുറഞ്ഞു പോകാനായിട്ട് ഇടവരുത് തെളിവുകൾ കുറഞ്ഞു പോകാൻ ഇടവരുത് സി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് പ്രൂഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഹസ് ബീൻ ലേഡ് ഔട്ട് ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് അസ് സോ വി ആർ ടു ബി ഓൾ ദ മോർ കോൺഫിഡൻറ്റ് ആസ് വി റീഡ് ദിസ് പാസഞ്ചസ് ദാറ്റ് ജീസസ് ഡിഡ് ഗോ ടു ദ ക്രോസ് ജീസസ് ഡിഡ് ഡൈ ഫോർ ആർ സിൻസ് ദോ ഹി വാസ് ഇന്നസെൻറ്റ് ഹി വാസ് ക്രൂസിഫൈഡ് എസ് എ ക്രിമിനൽ ആൻഡ് ഹി ഡിഡ് ഡൈ ഓൺ ദ ക്രോസ് ആൻഡ് ഹി വാസ് ബറീഡ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഓൺ ദ തേർഡ് ഡേ ഹി ഡിഡ് റൈസ് അപ്പ് ഫ്രം ദ ഡെഡ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ഫാക്ട്സ് ദാറ്റ് എ ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ ഹാസ് ടു പുട്ട് ഇസ് ഫെയ്ത്ത് ഓൺ Jesus says blessed are the ones who have not seen but yet believed okay so it is for belief it is for our confidence that these things have been given in such elaborate detail okay i'm going to read this passage now keep your bibles open your physical bibles open and uh, keep your diary ready so let us go through this passage chapter 14 mark verse 41 to 52 and he came the third time and said to them are you still sleeping and taking your rest it is enough The hour has come the son of man is betrayed into the hands of sinners rise let us be going see my betrayer is at hand and immediately while he was still speaking judas came one of the 12 and with him a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders now the betrayer had given them a sign saying the one i will kiss is the man seize him and lead him away under guard did him away under guard and when he came he went up to him at once and said rabbi and he kissed him and they laid hands on him and seized him but one of those who stood by drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear and jesus said to them have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me day after day i was with you in the temple teaching and you did not seize me but let the scriptures be fulfilled let the scriptures be fulfilled and they all left him and fled sorry a young man and a young man followed him with nothing but a linen cloth about his body and they seized him but he left the linen cloth and ran away naked all right so now we have come after getsemane sorry okay something happened are you able to hear me yes okay okay 
All right. Uh, my my device showed as though it has been disconnected. Okay. So, but it's okay. Right. So, uh, this is one of the infamous nights in history of in the history of mankind. You know, palavala infamous nights. Namukhi charitratil kana na it saadi ke. Okay. What does the word infamous mean? Infamous means having a bad reputation. Okay. Kalanga pato ru ru ru. Okay, it is a one. It's not a night which you would like to remember. No, it is a night which is full of uh, all kinds of bad things happen on that night. Okay, so that is why this is famous. Understand that all the things that happened to Jesus happened in that one night. Okay, so it is a remarkable night for mankind to be saved, but it is a horrible night if you look at the details. A bit individual event that happened. Okay, so it's an infamous night. It has a very bad reputation. Okay, now this night has something to say about the human condition. Manushan da avastha kuriche i raatri pala garingon nammalu samsaari kino. Okay, and it also has something to say very remarkable about the savior. Okay, reksha kena kurichum i bhagam pratyega maithu suji pikino. So what are the things that I can understand about the human condition, and what are the things I can understand about the savior? from this night that will be our focus for the next few weeks okay so today we are going to focus with that in mind now understand that there are parallel passages to this passage alle bible la gospels le there are parallel passages ide event vere ulla gospels vere mante suvisheshangalilum parayunnundu so just for your reference and we will be referring those areas also because we get the complete picture when we check all the other passages which are parallel passages okay so matthew chapter 26 for those who are taking down matthew chapter 26 was 47 to 56 also spoke, speaks about the same event matai 26 47 mudal 56 vare matthew 26 was 47 to 56 luke chapter 22 was 47 to 53 always it also speaks about the same event luke chapter 22 was 47 to 53 and john chapter 18 was 1 to 11 john chapter 18 was 1 to 11 okay those who are finding it hard to write down the references always write the numbers first and then the name of the book last so that you will not miss out on the numbers okay so i'll read it again matthew 26 47 to 56 luke 22 47 to 53 and john 18 was 1 to 11 okay so if you don't find a passage in mark understand that i'm either quoting from you know matthew luke or john okay so when you refer it you will get the complete picture of it okay now first thing we understand about this night is when jesus says rise up let us be going see my betrayer is at hand and immediately while he was still speaking judas came one of the 12 okay it was a night of conspiracy okay conspiracy good alojanagal or ratri ayirun there were a lot of conspiracy behind this meeting okay judas had arranged it in such a way that he knew Jesus would go to get so many to pray because it was a place that was frequently visited by Jesus for times of refreshing we saw it last week you know yesu karthavana swandramayite devathinte pidavaya devathinte sannidhiyil irikkanum prarthikkanum okke crowd inde edinu maari poi korchu neram ottakke selavalikkanayite he needed this privacy he needed this secluded place called getsemane and that was a favorite place for jesus that was a favorite thing that jesus did was prayer and because of that he was there in getsemane and judas knew this he secret ariyavun judas he was the one who was leading them there okay so it is a conspiracy now why would they need judas's help can't they just come and directly arrest jesus and go and judas can act as though he never knew anything see nane nane nu arnilla ennu parnu chumma nikkamayirunnu adhehathine pakshe why did it have to be judas now there are three reasons for this first of all jesus looked like a very normal ordinary jew there was nothing spectacular in appearance for jesus when he was compared to the other disciples sadharana patrosine kanan engine irikkuno adu pole irikkum jesus ne kanan sadharana mukkuvanaya patros okay he looked just like peter in lot of ways maybe he looked like andrew in lot of ways because that is how a normal jew looks like okay nammal pictures lokke kanumbu you know many people have these photos of jesus in their on their walls maybe on their wall papers you know desktop like okay? allengil you know you have seen these magazines you know story books like okay? you would have seen the face of jesus and in that the picture that is given is jesus is unique compared to the 
ട്വൽവ് ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് അല്ലെ യേശുദാത്താരെ കണ്ടാൽ നമുക്ക് പറയാം ആ കൂട്ടത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ഒറ്റനോട്ടത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവും ആ നല്ല ഡ്രസ്സ് ധരിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന വ്യക്തി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നല്ല താടിയും മീശയൊക്കെ ഉള്ള വ്യക്തി നല്ല ഒഴുകുന്ന മുടിയുള്ള വ്യക്തി നമുക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ജീസസ് എന്ന് ചിത്രകാരന്മാർ എങ്ങനെയാണ് യേശു കർത്താവിനെ പ്രതിപാദിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദ വേ ജീസസ് ലുക്ക്ഡ് ഹി ദ വാസ് നത്തിങ് അട്രാക്റ്റീവ് ഇൻ ജീസസ് അപ്പിയറൻസ് വൈസ് ഹി വാസ് എ നോർമൽ എവ്രി ഡേ കോമൺ ജൂ ഓക്കെ നോർമൽ ലുക്കിംഗ് ജൂ ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് ദേ കുഡ് നോട്ട് സ്പോട്ട് ഹു വാസ് ദ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് ഹു വാസ് ദ ഗുരു you know and they wanted the rabbi and they did not want the other fellows to be caught so because of that so jesus looked so normal he, he needed somebody to identify who the jesus was because the soldiers who came to capture him could not recognize peter from jesus okay va tirichari avarku illatha undaran randamthe reason ennu parannu kanyal they were coming to a place called getsemane which was a dark place there were no lights other than for the uh, the lights that they were holding on the street light to getsemane was not well lit you know if you go to getsemane now the people who go for tour to uh, the holy land they tell us that you know getsemane is now well lit it is a place of tourist attraction you know anatha getsemane alla innu ullathu pakshe ennalum getsemane thoto ko angane thana avaru preserve cheyan nokkittunde they have a modern version of getsemane there and that the whole place is tiled you know stones okke vecha tile cheyana alla bhangi aaki vechirikkana and that is not the getsemane of those days it was a small garden unlit ഇപ്പോൾ വെളിച്ചക്കുറവ് കാരണം യേശു കർത്താൻ തിരിച്ചറിയാൻ പറ്റത്തില്ല പന്ത്രണ്ട് പേരിൽ ആരെങ്കിലും വിളിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ചീഫ് പ്രീസ്റ്റ് വെച്ചേക്കത്തില്ല യു നോ ഹി വിൽ കിൽ ദ സോൾജേഴ്സ് ഇഫ് ദ ബ്രിങ് ദ റോങ് പേഴ്സൺ സോ ദ ഹാഡ് ടു ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ക്യാച്ച് ജീസസ് തേർഡ് റീസൺ വൈ ദ ഹാഡ് ടു ഡു ഇറ്റ് വാസ് അന്ന് മിസ് ആയി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ദൻ ദ പാസ് ഓവർ ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദോസ് തിങ്സ് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഹെക്ടിക് സോ ദിസ് പ്ലാൻ വാസ് യു നോ ഓൺ ദ സ്പർ ഓഫ് ദ മൊമെന്റ് പ്ലാൻ ജൂഡസ് അറേഞ്ച് ദ ഹോൾ തിങ് because they wanted to capture him before the passover see apo that was the whole intention they had to do it ee oru prashna miss cheyidu kanyal they may not get such an opportunity that is why it had to be done this way okay so understand that you know when uh, on jesus head there was no plate you know there was no halo on his head there was no other remarkable feature to differentiate jesus from the 12 adugondana this man who knew jesus so personally so intimately had to be the one who came and betrayed him pa adu nanu adhehathine 30 vellikashu kodukkeyum cheyadu okay now we understood that um ee 30 vellikashu kodukkan kaaranam that was the minimum rate of a slave alle appo or adume poleyana or cheap adume poleyana yesu kartha namukku vendi poyadu okay he was betrayed for 30 pieces of silver denoting that his price was like a slave it was actually a fulfillment of prophecy okay so as soon as jesus finished praying he looks up and he says betrayer is here so it was a night of conspiracy okay now it becomes even more intense when the word of god highlights certain words okay he paranjirikkunna karyathinu nere virodha bhasamayittulla chala vaakkalana vadana upayogikkunna okay let's see the identity of judas he says while he was still speaking verse 43 judas came one of the 12 he was one of the 12 that was his identity see he was one of the 12 which means one of the most trusted friends of jesus had become the betrayer okay so one of the 12 if is identity what why do what do you mean by one of the 12 one of the 12 means he walks with jesus he talks with jesus he is on jesus's best friend list he is a guy whom jesus trusts he is a guy whom the other disciples trust endengil or avashyam jesus ne kondu undengil nammal approach cheyna one of the 12 ile oral aanu judas see and if jesus wants to arrange a meeting the people who will run around to arrange the meeting will be peter andrew james john and judas definitely he is there in the 12 see annatha kaalathu oru 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 sheela undayirunnathu there was no mics and speakers like how we have today pa system onnum illa public address system illa so annatha kaalathu the disciples were the public address system okay so jesus would speak from on top of a mountain parvada prasangam ennu parayna matthew chapter 5 you would see jesus teaching a lot of things it's called the 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 uh, beatitudes and all those things that jesus is teaching right adu he is on top of a mountain and he is preaching etra verku kelkan pattu maybe or 30 to 40 or maybe 100 people can hear jesus voice prathechu kadal theeram you know and the waves will be there the wind will be there and all the natural surroundings noises will be there karam bike onnum kaanathilla paksha allatha noise ok avada kaanum appo angane ullu samayathe yesu kartha prasangikkum oru 100 verku kelkan pattum 
പക്ഷെ അയ്യായിരം പേര് ഇരിക്കുന്നത് ആലോചിച്ച് നോക്കും സോ ടു മേക്ക് ഹിസ് വോയ്സ് ഹേർഡ് വാട്ട് ദി ഡിഡ് വാസ് ദേ വുൾ സീറ്റ് ദി പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ ഹൺഡ്രഡ്സ് ഓർ യുനോ മേ ബി ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ്സ് ത്രീ ഹൺഡ്രഡ്സിൽ ഗ്രൂപ്പിൽ ഇരുത്തും ഇരുത്തിയതിന് ശേഷം ഓരോ ഗ്യാപ്പിലും ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് പോയി നിൽക്കും his trusted disciples will stand there and jesus will say a sentence it will be heard by the first disciple and he would teach the crowd sitting there and that would be heard by the next disciple and he would echo it to the next person and then that would be heard by the next person and he would echo it to the next 200 people pa angane angane echo cheyidittana everybody will be able to hear the exact message that jesus preached so which means these people have repeated the message that jesus has already preached to the crowds see he has been a mouthpiece for jesus he has been a speaker for jesus you know that is one of the 12 judas okay. so imagine that every input that jesus has put into the disciples for the last three and a half years he has input it into the life of judas as well pa yesu karta padipicha ella karyangalum kettu shraddhayodu kuda kettittulla oru vyaktiyana judas including the you know J- J- peter james john avare ella include him judas has also heard everything that jesus has taught he has been proclaiming what jesus has been teaching for the last three and a half years okay now the significant thing is he is the one who is the betrayer the one of the 12 and whom did he bring with him a crowd with swords and clubs see bible says andrew first met jesus and then he went and brought his brother to jesus So Simon Peter was brought to Jesus by Andrew. Like Andreas ana poyittu Patrosne thande sahodarane Patrosne vilichondu vannu nu paranju. Masiha njan kandu thirikunu. Angane vannu kanda thaanu Patros. And there was another time Yevanan mar Greek people wanted to come and meet Jesus. Appo they approached the man with the Greek name in the among the disciples Greek name ullo ore oru vyakti aanu Philip. And they came and contacted Philip and said see we want to meet Jesus. Appo Philip nere poyittu Andrew nodu paranju. And Andrew brought Philip and the Greeks Andrew and Philip brought the Greeks to meet Jesus. Another passage says about 5000 people needing food to eat. Appa ellarude kaiyile etra food undu nokkanayittu paranjappo oru vyakti oru kochu baalane Yesu karthavane eduthottu kondanu one of the disciples and his name was again Andrew see Andrew found this young boy small boy with little food and he brought him to Jesus see so disciples were bringing many many people to Jesus and everyone that Jesus spoke to was blessed alle അവരിൽ കൂടെ ആരെ യേശു കർത്താവ് മീറ്റ് ചെയ്തു അവരെല്ലാം യേശു കർത്താവ് അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചു ബട്ട് ഹിയർ ഇസ് വൺ മാൻ ബ്രിങ്ങിങ് എ ക്രൗഡ് ടു ജീസസ് അല്ലെ യേശു കർത്താവിന്റെ അടുത്തോട്ട് ഒരു ക്രൗഡിനെ കൊണ്ടു നമ്മൾ സന്തോഷിക്കുക ആ ഹിയർ ഇസ് അറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ജൂഡസ് ബ്രിങ്ങിങ് എ ക്രൗഡ് ടു ജീസസ് ബട്ട് ദി സാഡ് ട്രൂത്ത് ഇസ് ദിസ് ക്രൗഡ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് കമ്മിങ് ടു ബി ബ്ലെസ്ഡ് ദിസ് ക്രൗഡ് ഇസ് കമ്മിങ് വിത്ത് സ്വോർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ക്ലബ്സ് ഓക്കെ സോ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ഓൾ ദി ഐറണി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദെയർ ഇൻ ദിസ് പാസേജ് ബ്രിങ്ങിങ് a crowd to jesus but the wrong crowd see so one among the 12 but he is not of the 12 and now how is he going to betray jesus you know now the betrayer had given them a sign saying the one i will kiss is the man you know a kiss is a sign which shows intimacy brotherhood sahodari sneham kaanikunna oru ഇന്റിമേറ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഗ്രീറ്റിംഗ് ആണ് കിസ് അല്ലെ നമ്മളൊന്നും കാണുമ്പോൾ എല്ലാവരും പിടിച്ച് ഉമ്മ കയറൊന്നും ഇല്ല അല്ലെ അന്നത്തെ കാലത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റേൺ ട്രഡീഷൻ ഇസ് ഓൾസോ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓൺലി ഇന്റിമേറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ നല്ല പരിചയമുള്ള സ്നേഹിതർ സഹോദരന്മാരെന്ന് തോന്നിക്കുന്ന രീതിയിലുള്ള ബന്ധമുള്ള ആൾക്കാർ മാത്രമേ അങ്ങോട്ട് അന്യോന്യം മൂടുക്കാറുള്ളൂ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ മാർക്ക് ഓഫ് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു എ ടീച്ചർ സി ഇപ്പൊ റബി എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്ന ആ വ്യക്തിയോടുള്ള അടുപ്പവും സ്നേഹവും കാണിക്കുന്ന ഒരു അടയാളമാണ് ചുംബനം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സി ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദ സൈൻ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബിട്രേ സി so you see the irony in all these things hale so here is one of the 12 bringing a crowd kissing as a sign of betrayal and the one i kiss is the man sees him and lead him away under guard instruction is given to the soldiers endana avante munbil namaskarikka hale no the instruction is given sees him and lead him away under guard see അവനെ പിടിച്ചോണ്ട് പോയിക്കോളാൻ പറഞ്ഞ മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ദാറ്റ് ഹി ഇസ് അറസ്റ്റഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഡേ മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ഹി ഇസ് കാപ്റ്റീവ് ദാറ്റ് ഡേ സി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ഇഫ് ദ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് വർ ടു ഗിവ് എൻ ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ഫോർ ദ ലോഡ് വി വുഡ് സേ ഓപ്പൺ യുവർ ഹാർട്ട് അലൗ ജീസസ് ടു കം ഇൻ സൈഡ് യുവർ ഹാർട്ട് ഗിവ് യുവർ സെൽഫ് ആസ് കാപ്റ്റീവ്സ് ടു ദ ലോഡ് ബട്ട് ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സെയിങ് ടേക്ക് ഹിം എ വേ കാപ്റ്റീവ് സി യു സി ദ ഐറണി ഇൻ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് 
So this is a night of conspiracy. Okay. So Matthew says the number of soldiers who came, they were a great crowd. Okay. No, it was more than hundreds of people came to arrest this one man. Okay. One translation says it was a cohort, which means minimum of 100, a maximum of 600. So you should imagine the number. Okay. And this man goes and kisses one man and he says, Take him away. 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 If anybody resists arrest, they expected resistance by the way. That's why they came fully armed. So they came well prepared with arms. Okay. The son of peace is going to be taken with arms, with weapons, all the irony. In this night, there is so much of irony in this passage. Okay. Now, here is the arrest going to take place. In the Gospel of John, it says, Jesus, when they asked him, I am he and this big crowd of soldiers, they tumble and fall down. <laughs> they fall down backwards. Why do they fall down? Because they can't stand the awesome, almighty presence of the living God. Okay? When he says, I am he, they can't stand the truth. See? And that's why they fall down. They can't stand the majesty of the statement, I am He. Okay? So if Jesus wants, He can just finish off this crowd of 600 in one word. But He did not say that. See the irony? He has the power to do it, but He still did not do that. Okay? So, there was an expected retaliation, but there was no retaliation from Jesus. But the retaliation did come. From whom? From Peter. The gospel versions, all of them say, in this passage, it does not say who the disciple was. It says one of the disciples. But in John's gospel, in Matthew, also it mentions the name. Peter did it. Peter had a knife stuck away in his coat and he took it out and he was aiming for the neck. It missed and cut off the ear. He had the guts. So he did it. But the problem was he cut off the ear. Now, Jesus rebukes Peter. He does not rebuke the crowd. He does not rebuke Judas. Instead, he rebukes the one man who tried to defend him. That was Peter. And he rebukes him and says, Did, Am I really leading a revolution here? You know, am I leading a revolt? Allah. And he says, put away your dagger. And then Jesus tells the soldiers, let my men go. You want me, right? I am he. I am the one you want. Let my people go. And he commands them and they listen to Jesus. They obey Jesus. They allow these fellows to run away. See? But nobody goes after the disciples because they have obeyed what Jesus see so he is not the victim here though it looks like they have come to arrest Jesus he is still in control of his arrest see and he is not the victim they are obeying Jesus okay so this is a situation that the gospel writers are trying to present to us about the Lord's majesty he was still in control he was still in control. So, as we go through all the struggles of pandemic and quarantine and all those things, understand when you keep the news, everybody is shouting at the top of their voice, this virus is out of control. The spread in community is out of control. But Jesus, he never loses control. No, he never loses control. There was this man, you know, who was um, riding a a car. They have a driver on a three or short driver. And he has never lost control of his car. And one time when he was irritated by another driver, again and again this driver was irritating him. This driver lost his cool, you know. I'll 
uh, uh, our patients ago boy and he thought he has to teach this fellow a lesson and he started driving his car recklessly and he tried to overtake that other fellow and tried to teach him a lesson pala reethil try id avasaram he lost control of his own car and this car went and crashed two shops and it almost killed one little girl avasaram ella prashna okke theernu police vannu idhathe pidichu aashathrile kondu varunnare kondu poi ella kanjippi idhathodu yojichu what really happened and this man said i lost control appo police varanju oh ningada car inde control alle you are such a good driver 30 years ago ningal vandi odikku alle you lost control of your car he said no not of my car alone i lost control of my anger see 30 years ago it alle kudalayittu njan ithu pole angry aayittulla samayam illa suddenly i lost control of myself i lost control of my anger and this is what happened i almost took the life of a girl see so jesus never loses control he is always in control no matter how much the pandemic spreads no matter how much people tell you it's all out of control jesus is still in control so <clears throat> okay now i want you to read one verse in the bible okay that tells you something about judas john chapter 8 verse 24 john chapter 8 verse 24 യോഹന്നാന്റെ സുവിശേഷം എട്ടാമത്തെ വാക്യം എട്ടാം അധ്യായം ഇരുപത്തിനാലാം വാക്യം ഐ ടോൾഡ് യു ദാറ്റ് യു വുഡ് ഡൈ ഇൻ യുവർ സിൻസ് ഫോർ അൺലെസ് യു ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ആം ഹി യു വിൽ ഡൈ ഇൻ യുവർ സിൻസ് ഓക്കെ ജീസസ് ടെലിങ് സംതിങ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് സൗണ്ട്സ് മിസ്റ്റീരിയസ് ബട്ട് ഇഫ് യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ക്ലോസ്ലി യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാപ്പൻ ടു ജൂഡസ് ഐ ടോൾഡ് യു ദാറ്റ് യു വുഡ് ഡൈ ഇൻ യുവർ സിൻസ് ഫോർ അൺലെസ് യു ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ആം ഹി യു വിൽ ഡൈ ഇൻ യുവർ സിൻസ് മൂന്നര വർഷം യേശു കർത്താവിനോട് കൂടെ നടന്നു Yesu Kartav avane made him a treasurer in the among the 12 disciples he was one of the learned people okay? he came from the south iscariot ennu parayna sarathu nu vannirikkina aalkaran appo iscariot nu parayna saram south of uh, israel they are the people who are learned people nammal orathile india maharajyathu kerala thannu vannu oru aal nu parayumbo they will say oh literary rate is very high in kerala so you must be a learned person le കേരളത്തിൽ ഒരു വ്യക്തി ഒരു വ്യക്തി പത്താം ക്ലാസ് വരെയെങ്കിലും പഠിച്ചിട്ടില്ല എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇമ്പോസിബിൾ ഇത് എവ്രി സമ്പൂർണ്ണ സാക്ഷരത എന്ന് നമ്മൾ ക്ലെയിം ചെയ്യുകയാണ് സോ വിറ്റ് മീൻസ് യു ആർ ലേൺ അറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ദ സെയിം വേ ഇഫ് എനിബഡി ക്ലെയിംസ് ടു കം ഫ്രം സൗത്ത് ഇഫ് എനിബഡി ക്ലെയിംസ് ടു കം ഫ്രം ഇസ് കാരിയർ ദറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദറ്റ് ഗൈ ഇസ് എ ലേൺ അറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ സി വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഫ്യൂ ലേൺ അറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ അമങ് ദ ട്വൽവ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ഇസ് എ മാൻ ഹു ഹസ് ബീൻ ത്രീ ആൻഡ് എ ഹാഫ് ഇയേഴ്സ് വിത്ത് ജീസസ് വാക്ക് ടു ജീസസ് ടോക്ക് ടു ജീസസ് ഹേർഡ് വാട്ട് എവർ ഹി പ്രീച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ സ്പൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് he has seen all the miracles that jesus performed but yet has not put his faith in jesus as his savior and messiah yesu kartavane sondra rakshithavayittu idu vare atta adhesu yigirichittilla and that is the reason he is dying in his sin jesus caught him as you know uh, stealing money from his purse jesus has rebuked him tried to correct him to stop this habit alle aa stri സ്വച്ഛ ഏടാമസം തലയിൽ നിന്ന് കൊണ്ടുവന്ന് തലയിൽ പൂശുന്ന സമയത്തും ജീസസ് ട്രൈസ് ടു ടെൽ ഹിം യു ആർ നോട്ട് ഡൂയിങ് ദിസ് ബിക്കോസ് യു ലവ് ദ പൂർ പീപ്പിൾ ജീസസ് ആക്ച്വലി റിപ്രമാൻസ് ഹിം ബിക്കോസ് ഹി നോസ് ദറ്റ് ജൂഡസ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ സ്റ്റീലിംഗ് ഫ്രം ദ മണി ബാഗ് അവന്റെ ആവശ്യങ്ങൾക്കെല്ലാം അവരുടെ കോമൺ കിറ്റിയിൽ നിന്ന് പൈസ എടുത്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു മിനിസ്ട്രി പൈസ എടുത്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു അത് അറിയാവുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് ജീസസ് അവനെ റിബ്യൂക്ക് ചെയ്തതാണ് ബട്ട് ഹി സ്റ്റിൽ വോണ്ട് ടു ബി എ തീഫ് സോ ഹി വാസ് തീഫ് ഫ്രം ദി ബിഗിനിങ് യു സി ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ഹി നെവർ changed he never allowed jesus to change him and that is what jesus is saying you will die in your sins it doesn't matter if you have been preaching for god if it doesn't matter if you have been arranging meetings for god okay it doesn't matter if if you claim that you have been walking with jesus and every day you spend time in jesus presence if you have not believed that jesus is the son of god and allowed him to change your heart to cleanse your heart you will die in your sin Okay. this is what the bible speaks okay you will die in your sins chuma vishwasya pora vishwasichengil ninnla maatam kaananam that is what bible is saying if there is no change in your life that means you have not believed if you are not giving full control of your life to the holy spirit that means you are not giving up any control at all and that shows that you are still living in sin that is what this verse talks about he said uh verse 24 I told you that you would die in your sins for unless you believe that I am he you will die in your sins I want you to turn and see one more passage 1 John chapter 5 1 John chapter 
and verse 12. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. See, So this man Judas, he walked with the Son of God, but he still did not have life. He kissed the gate of heaven. Jesus said, I am the door. Through me, everyone who enters into heaven enters through me. He kissed the gate of heaven and went to hell. So if you have the Son, you have life. If you don't have the Son of God, you do not have life. You know? It's as clear as that. And that is what Jesus is trying to tell us through this passage. Judas died in his sin because he never was saved in the first place. He never got converted. He never allowed Jesus control of his life. He lived his life his own way. Okay? And that's what is going to happen to many of us. At the end of time, we are going to see who, all of, who among us lived our life on our own terms. Who among us lived our lives according to our own will? See, that's what makes the difference. Secondly, this night was not only a night of conspiracy, it was a night of courage. Jesus is walking right up to them and saying, I am he. Okay. He is giving himself up. He knows what is waiting for him. He knows how they are going to treat him. But still he is walking right into it. He is See. But they thought it would be required, but Jesus did not want any of that. He wanted to protect his disciples, but he was willing to give himself up. Why? Because it was his father's will. And Jesus was committed to do his father's will. Turn with me to John chapter 4. Yohananda Suvishesham, Nala Madhyayam, Muppati Nala Vakitil Parenum. Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. See, that is my food. Can't live without my food. The same way, Jesus can't live without fulfilling the will of God. That is how important it is to him. See, he committed to do his father's will. And when he was on the cross, he says, it is finished. What is finished? I have Done it. I have committed and I have finished the will of God. See, why did he do all these things? Why was he committed to do Father's will? Romans chapter 5, verse 8 teaches us. Romer, Anjamathyam, Ettam Vakyam Barendu. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He submitted to the will of the Father because he loves you and me. See? Crucial point Karnandana. Because he loves you and me. That is why he went to the cross. See. And Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. Romans 5, 8. And then Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. Hebrews 9, 22 says, Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. See, Jesus going to the cross was the only hope for your salvation and my salvation. And that's why he had to go to the cross. See, he was committed to do the Father's will and he loved you unconditionally. And this is the only hope for your salvation and my salvation. That is why Jesus had to go to the cross. And this is courage. When the odds are stacked against you, you know what is going to happen to you and you willingly submit and say, here I am, take me. I have to do this. See, It was a night of courage. It was a night of conspiracy. It was a night of courage. Thirdly, you see it is a night full of compromises. Disciples fled. Why did they run? Because they were afraid. The Bible says, verse 50, they were in fear. See, you value your life more than Jesus. That is why you run. See, So it's a night of compromises. Disciples fled in fear. There was this unnamed man. You know, commentators say that is Mark because only in the Gospel of Mark it is mentioned. Maybe 14 to 18 years of age. You know, that age is already there. He was watching, you know, for Gethsemane's entrance. He was watching what was happening to Jesus. 
maybe he was following from a distance like how peter was following see but when the when he was captured they thought he was one of the disciples and they captured this young man he fled naked losing his shameful thing pakshad the mark in the scripture mentioned jay can and that's why people say it could be mark he did not want to mention his name because it was a shameful thing see maybe it is mark maybe it is not mark it doesn't matter but we understand that even that young man fled you know a night of compromises they all the bible says this word forsook him which means left him abandon him and ran see april 20th 1999 there is this columbine shooting happened okay rendu payamar his name their names are eric harris and dylan clebold both of them together took up guns avare veetunnulla rendu thook eduthu avare school il poyittu columbine ennu parayna school il poyittu avare poi kochu pilareyum kandu nanavare okka vedi vechu lot of people were shot dead 12 students lost their lives on that day because of these two young men and 23 people were seriously injured by the firing okay april 20th 1999 now when they were murdering these students adil oru kochu her name is cassie bernal this girl was hiding in one of the lab labs okay student laboratories lonnile ee pengochu olichirikkayirun she was under a table hiding from these shooters appo eric harris oru ee classroom nattottu kerite he was searching for all the people to shoot and suddenly he found this cassie sitting under the desk and he came up to her and asked this question do you believe in god and cassie bernal said yes i believe and he shot her point blank because she believed in god okay now imagine that if she had said no she could have avoided getting shot but at that moment she did not want to abandon forsake jesus she said yes i believe you know many times we think namli mark inde ke suvishesham vaaikum namlu yarikum ee shishyamar endinu kollam moonara varsha ee charathu kodu idana avaru cheyathu nyan ayirun avade engil things would have been different than namlu parayum see it would not have been any better than this we would have forsaken him and we would also would have been running but there are evidences of people standing later on when the same apostles were caught when later on when they were asked to betray jesus to forsake jesus they said i would rather go to the cross i would rather go to my grave than deny the son of god see they stood for him they never abandoned him after this and that is what makes them martyrs that's what makes them soldiers of the cross see where would you be how would you answer when somebody challenged you in your faith would you compromise or would you stand up for him soviet russia these people you know they have this underground church there where believers gather together and they worship and the secret service the russian secret service another time soviet russia you know at some time the secret service is always trying to listen and find out Uh, by using spies they are trying to find out where all these underground churches are because they hate the christian they want to shoot the christian they want to kill the christians and so they were they were targeting the underground churches and one time one of the spies you know he gave information correct location of one of these underground churches and the russian soldiers they just crowded into the small underground room there were more than 55 people in that congregation and when they saw the soldiers they all panicked and they were all crouching and suddenly the commander of this small group he stood there and he said one last chance if you want to leave jesus if you are an unbeliever we want you to leave this place nobody is going to harm you he is talam vittu odi poi kodu right now i am giving you the chance nobody is going to shoot you from the back you can leave and those of you who claim to be believers if you think you are a believer then i want you to walk right up to that wall and stand facing the wall with your hands up give the option and immediately many 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 people left 18 of those people stood up walked up to the wall placed their hands on the wall and they stood there claiming to be believers every one of them were shot dead that day they were given an option to compromise and they said i would rather die for him then claim to be an unbeliever 
what makes them different what makes them different i want to tell you one more story roman emperor nero you know he had these 40 wrestlers who used to fight in the amphitheaters for nero you know they used to go into the battlegrounds and fight for nero they would say the emperor's 40 wrestlers we are we would fight to bring him glory and glory and reward for each one of us to bring the emperor glory and to bring rewards for each one of us 40 wrestlers of the emperor that was their slogan you know that was the proud slogan of these 40 wrestlers after one great battle they were returning home when nero's messenger came to the battalion and he told the commander another commander his name is vespasian okay to commander vespasian he gave a secret message and he said some among the roman troops are christians and emperor nero will not tolerate christians in his army and whoever is the christian they should not come back to rome they should all be killed here vida which avare kollalo ketabo vespian you know he gathered all the troops and it was a winter going on and everybody was freezing and they were near a lake which was frozen you know half frozen lake ayirun velathin athu kerina tanupunu chattu athrakin tanuthu ice ay kadakkuna lake inde side laana they stood there and vespian read out this message and said who among you are christians among all these thousand people who are soldiers he asked who among you are christians and these 40 wrestlers they stepped out said we are the christians an emperor uh, message was passed to them he said ningal ellarum kollanana paranjirikku but i don't feel like you know killing you all so what we will do is we will allow you to die natural death okay you will have to take off all your extra clothes all your clothes and walk right out into that lake the middle of the lake and stand there till you freeze to death adha njangal ningale kollathilla kollathilla so you have to die yourself or if you say that you are a non believer you don't believe in christ you can come out from the lake alive see option was given to them and these 40 wrestlers took off their clothes and they marched right into the water and vespian he told the soldiers avare or tea undakkan paran or campfire pole velli or tea okka kutti avare vannu ee commander irukna tea kai avare kaanke tea kai and said if you recant jesus if you say i don't believe in jesus you can come up from the water and you can come and get the fire say tea kai am tanapathu onnu chaavanda avashyamilla and these men who stood in the middle of the lake they started shouting 40 wrestlers for christ we will bring him glory and he will give us his reward 40 wrestlers for christ and they stood there the whole night chanting the slogan 40 wrestlers for christ 40 wrestlers for christ vespian sat outside this lake near the fire warming himself he was listening to these chants he never slept the soldiers also never slept because they couldn't sleep they were keeping on chanting and chanting their voices became more and more and more feeble and at the end of it one man among the 40 decided that he wanted to live and he came out from the water early morning when the sun was about to rise he came out of the water he took his clothes on he ran to the fire knelt down near the fire and he said i am not a believer i don't want to be a believer and those soldiers they changed the slogan they said 39 39 wrestlers for god 39 wrestlers bringing glory to christ and rewards for ourselves 39 soldiers when vespian heard this history says he took off his dress he walked right into the lake stood with those soldiers and he said don't change the slogan 40 wrestlers for christ bringing glory to him rewards for us from him okay people who are unwilling to compromise for christ see where do you and i stand it was a night of conspiracy it was a night of courage it was a night of compromise but it was also a night of compassion jesus showed compassion to judas no he could have finished off judas then and there he could have allowed the other disciples to kill him off but judas was spared 
he was given one more chance you know what jesus calls him friend do what you have come to do friend jesus gives him chance after chance after chance but he never repented even for this sin judas never repented he showed compassion to peter even though peter disobeyed him you know peter took out the sword and cut off his ear still jesus was patient with peter he was protecting his disciples you see compassion all over and there was this man who got his ear cut bible says his name was malchus he was one among the enemy jesus took that piece of ear that had fallen off in the ground and restored his ear showed him compassion you know turn with me to the book of matthew and it says in chapter 26 when peter cuts off the ears of this man jesus asking peter a question he says do you think that i cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions one legion is 1000 no? and here is 12 legions of angels but how then should the scriptures be fulfilled jesus said i have power in me to bring down the hordes of angels and destroy this crowd right now see why do i want to do it why god of compassion god of compassion he showed compassion to judas he showed compassion to peter and the other disciples he showed compassion to his enemy malchus he showed compassion to the soldiers by not killing them then and there by calling down his angels upon them but even more than that he showed compassion to you and me he could have avoided all this no he could have just walked off from the cross and said nobody is going to ask him anything he could have erased all creation and started off from scratch no but jesus stood there and surrendered himself because he wanted to show compassion to you and me how do i stand today am i compromising am i living a life of blatant compromise or have you experienced his compassion and have you given your life's control to jesus a night of conspiracy a night of courage night of compromise night of compassion let us look to the lord this day let's look to the lord and ask him lord if i have been a judas i've been so active in doing christian work i've been so active in doing ministry for you but have i really opened my heart to you have i truly repented is jesus in control of my life or am i controlling my own life help me to see whether i'm a betrayer or not father i pray this evening as each one hears this message help us to understand which all areas we are compromising are we standing up for the glory of god or are we somehow existing claiming to be christians claiming to be believers claiming to read the bible claiming to do all the things that christians do but with compromise then i am no christian i am not a believer help me to understand this evening help me to accept your compassion and allow myself into the hands of the savior you died on the cross because you love me you died on the cross because there is no other means of salvation by which mankind can be saved allow me o lord to abandon myself into the hands of this grace i give you grace i give you all glory and power in jesus name we pray amen all right so for the last song we have song number 411 think i have to share the space uh share screen and yes this is my desire to honor you
This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is in you. Lord, I give you my heart. Give you my soul. Live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Have your way in me, Lord. I give you my heart. Give you my soul. Live. For you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Have your way in me. Okay, one more time. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is in you. Lord, I give you my heart, give you my soul. Live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Have your way in me, Lord, I give you my heart, give you my soul. Live for you alone Every breath that I take Every moment I'm away I'll have your way in me God bless you all this week